Hello and welcome back to Downtime Activities and welcome back to our two-player Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough uh, where last time we were in Kether Thorm's uh, little tower uh, but due to some weird lag issues decided to leave there uh, and go to camp <laughs> before the recording started. Hopefully things aren't too choppy here. We'll see as the uh, as this episode goes on but who knows. At any rate uh, I think we're going to take a long rest, go do one fight and then be forced to take another long rest. But we're kind of beat up right now, so we should take the long rest. Oh look, it's the uh, it's the it's the cleric and the celestial. Yeah. Mm, just thought of something. I thought they'd be busy after the conversation. The we shadows had are lifted. Finally, we can breathe well, free. Probably waiting for everyone to go to sleep. <laughs> yes, yes. Very interesting. Um, I would like you to wait in camp. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. Yes, guarding the camp. On second thought, yes, remain here. And just <laughs> when things were warming up. Oh. Oh. I didn't realize. Excuse me. Well, well, I didn't realize the uh, evil general lady uh, done rather a good uh, thing had the hots here. for me. It, it only a welcome change to, to, to give uh, this land a out, sliver you know, of hope what, amongst uh, so much to spare. That's just how these things go. Yeah, I'm not going to... I'm not going to talk to you about that night under the stars because if I open up to you about that, you'll try to have sex with me, you, you thirsty man, you. Hey, hey, I assume you're talking to Gale. Yes. Join me, why don't with you? With pleasure. Lead on. I want our Tesla rod back in the party until we have a good story reason to have somebody else with us. Anyway. Make sure you level him up because it looks like he just got an immense amount of XP. He's not. Level upable yet though. Is he? Which one? He's level nine. Out. Here is library. Okay. Not a ton, but he was. I think he was like he must, freshly he must, uh, level nine, and now yeah. he's well into level nine. Must have leveled him up right before. Did you send the? Oh yeah, you sent some stuff to him too. Reaper's embrace. Yeah. Um, an armor, armor, and a shield, I believe. Okay. Electric shield, oh yeah, this one makes like spell saves better. Instead of this one, which is Oh, an additional level one spell slot. <laughs> this is uh this is a pretty great druid animation going on over here with Shahira. Clearly she knows what's up, uh, because it's an Ericsson campaign. Uh oh. Uh, is she talking to rats? <laughs> she is talking to a rat. Uh and she'll ask it questions and the rat will nod or shake its head and then she fed him and he ran away. <laughs> Uh, does he... I swear I'm... Oh, there he is. I think I want to try and dye his armor again. See what this one looks like. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. I'm a fan of that. Neat. Oh. The Reaper's Embrace with that paint scheme. You know, it's awful a lot. That uh, armor's really quite uh, form-fitting. Uh, <laughs> his last armor was, uh, was much bulkier than that. <laughs> He's been working his uh, his quads out. He's just trying to show off. It's it's definitely sort of looks like it's much more flattering armor than the, uh, than the other set there. Yeah. In it. I do like the blue and red like cloth. Yeah. Layer on it. And it's cool. This armor, if you look close at it, the like cloth part is like skeletons. So I didn't mean yeah. to talk to you. Hopefully, it didn't make me. Never wanted the easy part. And so, like, whatever color scheme you do, it'll that's what it'll make the cloth be like the color i'm using is the like kind of uh turquoisey one and it'll make it that mm. this like black and turquoise with that one and it looks super good Add that on i uh too. i just threw um it's supposed to be a black and red um dye on this armor set which like a black uh, and purpose red or whatever yeah because it's technically like star armor but uh um it, the red doesn't really come also just kind of like gold and silver and i forgot every time i forget that i'm <laughs> wearing, wearing uh, uh, uh where these cables why on my screen you still have the saw... shield and your little lantern out that is because come on, I man do. come on man relax it's camp yeah. you can never be too prepared just because I'm in my um, incredible hulk pajamas doesn't mean that i don't keep that thing on me uh, 
I don't see any I just, exclamation I, points. I'm going to bed. I just think you're, it, uh, it shows a certain dose of uh, paranoia to <laughs> be in your pajamas with a shield and weapon. Hmm. Look who decided to show up hey, before back. the end of Act 2. Blood hurts. What? Mm, you're hurt. Let me see. I'm not going to. Oh, favorable begin. I forget. I'm doing bullshit. So I just get to like be good at skills Look. the first time I try them. Cut. Oh. Cut you're also. Paw. You're also a druid, so. Yes. Uh. It's barely a scratch. You'll be fine. No survival. Come here. I'll clean it for you. I swear by all the gods, we will find who did this to you, and we will make sure that there is not a small enough or large enough piece left for them to identify. The cub inspects the wound. I mean, giving let it me a see that wound. Pet. <laughs> Good. No hurt. How did this happen? Teeth, claws, bigger. Ah, oh. well put. You fought something bigger than you. What? Strong. Fight. Win. That last one sounded like a question. <laughs> <laughs> and did did you kill any? Kill? No. Strong. Show you. I love him so much. <laughs> <laughs> you and everybody who's good in this world. Karlak is inspired. <laughs> um. What? Did that not make us go? Did we not get the rest? Okay. This uh, time, her with Gusto. Well, uh, now, now the real question is, uh, do you have the rare achievement uh, for ex <laughs> for what the game describes as like experiencing the ultimate oh. pleasure, which is to pet Scratch and the Alvair Cup at the same time? I don't think I have done. Uh, it's like you have two hands for a reason or something <laughs> like that. Um, That's awesome. Also, uh, Scratch becomes just like the best, like big bro to the Albert Cup. It's <laughs> pretty awesome. All right. Well. Ah, Carlac, back to normal size. I guess I'll. I mean, it feels like a bit of overkill to get all this shit done, but. Might as well. Have an army go with us when we go to do this. When we go to leave this area. <laughs> Might mean that they're there too for true end of Act 2, start of Act 3 sort of moment. And then a lot more. Uh aggressive than uh I'm guessing monster here. <laughs> what now? Thanks for the gold, everyone. have seen everything. More back at this. Sweet. Let's see. Let's blow. Let's grab a handful of popcorn shrimp and blow the uh -uh. shrimp. Oh um, no. She loses armor or back at this if you uh, switch armor sets. But... Okay. We're back in the in the lag house. It's not as bad as it was before at least. But uh are you a viable corpse? Because you sure are. Yeah. Welcome to the team. Get the yes, yes, I know you want to talk to me. I'll talk to you in a second here. We already talked to Halson, so... Oh, everybody else turned into pouches out here. Mm. Ah, Caustic Bride. Go around the Caustic Bride. So I'm guessing these weird. pouches are not reanimatable. First I should do this. Uh, 
Hey, look at all these pouches. This one's got a cleaver, leather armor, and a hand crust. <laughs> I'm interested to see if there's like an animation when we open these doors with uh, house. We leave oh. the heart of the absolute alive, thanks to you. You did well to defeat Ketherick, but Ketherick was only the first to fall. There are many more battles ahead. And they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. We got a whole pass. I mean, do we have to choose saying we recruited these people or something? I already have allies. You have the makings of a leader. Your actions have already inspired those around you. Jahira's yes, wisdom yes. will be an asset to you on the journey ahead. Her harpers, too. Halcyn's strength and loyalty will bolster you in times of need. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. I'll think about it. I will build an army to rival that of the Abyss. I will seek more allies in this. Good. Season. I'm glad to hear that. Baldur's Gate may not know got enough yet, gold. <laughs> but its fate is bound to ours. How long, how long, Seek how long would we need those whose purpose aligns with our own and invite them to our seven cause. days, seven Together, gold per mercenary. We will put an end <laughs> to the absolute. We could hire the chosen hundreds of mercenaries. <laughs> we don't need them for a whole lot of days, we just really need them for a Let's get out of here a little ways, and then I can talk to if we all the we'll arrive before the absolute forces. <laughs> Who's calling out the pain? Do we still have... Me. I uh, just randomly got hit for four radiant damage. Not okay. sure why. The absolute should be a thing of the past, and I with it. Yet, at the risk of angering Mistra further, I'm glad it didn't come to that. Given what has come to light. We're not out of the shadow cursed woods yet, Gail. <laughs> Apologies. Got rather lost in the metaphor there. Allow me to provide a map. That would be I helpful. speak of what we discovered at the heart of this cursed place. The Elder Brain. But more importantly, the crown that it wore. Even without seeing it for myself, I could sense it netherese magic so pure so complete oh you joke. i doubted what i was feeling at first most netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power the ghost of an echo of a memory that crown was different i can't fathom how such a wonder survived surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with netheril itself but okay, uh... no matter didn't you uh, learn your lesson the first time you went I playing around with ancient Netherese magic, magic beyond your comprehension? So you're dropping the whole blowing yourself up thing? You think I'll just forget about that? <laughs> Likely not. If I've done damage to your opinion of me, then no, I'm truly sorry. I was but trying if to this be this crown amounts to what I ass. suspect it is. Then your faith will soon be restored, and then some. It's clear crown and brain are intrinsically connected. Given the pressing urgency of us smiting the latter, understanding the former could make all the difference. I don't understand. Gail would to use this crown out of, out of a desire to do good. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. As luck would have it, we'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep. Sorcerous Sundries. I need uh -huh. to go there and learn all I can. Home of the biggest freaking dweeb in all of Baldur's Gate. The dweeb <laughs> in need of a kicking, or just the like, man, you're a dweeb. No, and the like, you're the worst person in this entire game. You're, you well, deserved uh, the fist that's about to go through your face. Well, we've got uh, plenty of people good at punching bad guys. No, Gale. <laughs> Sounds like an excellent <laughs> idea. The only kind I have? 
Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. I mean, nether East techs are hardly dude. commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. All right. You'll All have right. to forgive my uh, eagerness, but down, if my Dan suspicions Hale. prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. Oh, what suspicions hold water? Who oh, even headed from here? Uh, we go or out into the like left to get out of it. Not through this building. Ouch. Yeah. Up here? Oh, this is the. Uh, this is like the. This there's, is the tavern. There's a road. All roads lead to Baldur's Gate. I think we go this way. Yeah, I think it's over here. Yeah. Good thing we've got a hard fight coming up because I keep setting myself on fire. How? I don't know. There's holy or unholy fire. It's kind of hard to tell the difference when you're in Shadow Curse Lights. <laughs> I wonder if it's... Oh, there it is. <laughs> no turning back once we start down that road. Hmm. Well, what do we got here? An unpronounceable name, uh, a veteran raider, and another veteran raider. As well as, what's her face? She might... Where is she? Oh, there she is. The Avatar of Blacken. Ch I... To scum, uh. oh, I was about to say, is that the unpronounceable name one? <laughs> uh. Well, sorry you're so far away. I didn't realize I was going to be right in the middle of this. No, That's sense. right. Luckily, Probably she's got her can. heel clicky movement. <laughs> <laughs> Get fucked, Gail. <laughs> Uh, uh, I know he's a party member, but it's still fun. <laughs> still great every time. Uh, oh, yeah, we do this. You. Well done. Uh, that's one's we're gonna long rest anyways. You know what? Get paralyzed, ho. Uh, I thought for sure you would just maximum divine smite. But... <laughs> I might do that when I hit him while he's down, uh, so I hopefully get a crit on it. Because the well, paralyzed—he's he's, he's paralyzed at the moment, right? Yeah, so I should auto crit, Where do I right? Go from here? Is he paralyzed until someone hits him, or? It says two turns. I'm not sure if the hit will break that or not. Oh. At any rate, we're gonna shillelagh. We're gonna smite this dude into the nether region. Smite him in its nether. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that'll do. <laughs> I'm surprised there's that much left out of the room after all those status effects took hold. Get him close to this guy. That'll be fine. Now. You know, Skelly Boy either crits for a million damage or. Ah! Uh, oh. uh, oh, I hate. Freaking battle masters. Unless you're playing one, right? Mm -hmm. Just it's so annoying to pick up a weapon and remember to re, re equip it. Like, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> that's literally all that I'm upset about. <laughs> hey, it's too bad I can't reach them except for second cutting action. Haha. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> It's Dragon Double Dash of the Dimsdale Double Dash. Okay, well, uh, Noxus Fume damage is not a bad thing. Mm -mm. Uh, and you know what? Let's, uh, let's do a ranged defensive flourish. Hell yeah. Uh, that will do. I will take the who was that? Oh, Carly. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> Who did he schwack?
<laughs> it's for some reason I've never noticed how That's gentle her melee attack animation <laughs> is. You know what? Again, I mean we're gonna be forced to take a rest before too long here, I believe. So, uh oh, smoke him if you got him, right? They're about to be under stuff. One might say. Okay, game. I'll move up here. And do a lightning down the middle of all three. It is affecting him too, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Big one didn't make her save, at least. Uh, that's all his movement. He can't run away. Oh, that's fine. We'll be done beating on this poor guy while he's down here. <laughs> okay. What a terrible day that Battlemaster's having. <laughs> okay, uh, Karlak is... Uh... Oh, she got four right. dreaded it. Does rage remove a fear effect, or...? Gosh. It does in 5th edition at a certain level. I don't know if that transfers to this. You can always rage and make a ranged attack if it doesn't. Or... Does not seem to have... Oh yeah, her weapon doesn't... I was like, why did this get dark all of a sudden? It's because she's not holding her moonlight blade anymore. Okay, well, 14 damage in vain is not... Not bad for the immobile barbarian. <laughs> he wants to... Uh, he could just be stepped out here if he wants yeah, to. Yeah, you go right ahead. That's, that's all right. Karlak might be able to jump up there. She's pretty strong. I wouldn't be surprised. And then she, he used an arrow of many targets to only hit her. Well done. Nice shoot. Real nice shoot. What's that from? I think that's from, like, <laughs> that's a, a Buck good, Hunter game. That, that's a... Yeah, that one... Uh, that's the same thing. It's another one where it's like, you've triggered a memory, but I don't know... I think I that's know what from, it's from the, like... Uh, from like a Cabela's like, like a Cabela's, store kiosk, yeah. like, or like game. like a freaking Buck Hunter, big Buck Hunter game, and some sort mm. of. It was probably at Aladdin's castle. It was probably where probably. it was. Probably. Uh, I remember Aladdin's castle had the uh, um, the episode one Pod Racer game, but with the whole like Pod Racer cockpit setup. Oh yeah, I remember that. That was pretty sweet. And I remember being terrible at it. Yeah, it was not. Well, that game was <laughs> impossible. That game is so hard. Apparently, it's a lot easier. Like, because they re-released a, a, like, remastered version on uh, Xbox, like, a year or two ago. And okay. apparently, it's a lot easier. With, they like, made the controls actually halfway responsive. modern controls. <laughs> um, well, let's just make four attacks, I suppose. <laughs> Do it. Do it to her. Before she comes down and does it to Gale. <laughs> and, uh, one more. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Two targets. <laughs> You get nothing. Good day, sir. You don't get nothing. I don't like it. I want to Eldritch Blast the wizard, and I want I want to Eldritch Blast the rogue. That you'll get nothing. I you'll like you'll Eldritch Blast no one and like it. Gone with the weave. Gone with the reef. Oh. Another one. Oh. Let's light them up. Uh, 
this battle master is still living. For now. So it would seem. It's because I don't get to thwack him because he knocked my freaking club out of my hand. <laughs> Only five hit points. Well, this is almost certainly overkill. <laughs> Worth a lot of XP. Mm -hmm. oh. No choice but Still to keep going. Uh, oh, yeah. That's the kind of druid I, I remember. Uh, we're good. I don't really need to do anything else. Hey, it's weird. I ended Carlock's turn and didn't just jump me. You guys got hurt, right? Game, what do you mean can't reach destination? I can literally just walk over there. See? I just did it. <laughs> Impossible. Okay, well, it probably wasn't worth spending a flourish on that. Uh... We're probably going to take a short rest here anyway, so... Let's see. Ooh, Royal Orders. Let's be fun. Pick up Bracers, Silver Ingot. We can sell that. A lemon. That's the sell same me a lemon. lemon. Uh, psionic Ward Armor. Rare Medium Armor. 15 AC. If the item detects that the wearer is Gith, they have resistance to psychic damage. Okay. Whenever the wearer succeeds on a saving throw against a spell, they regain one to four hit points and disadvantage stealth check. That's actually, like, not terrible armor. Um... I'm going to send it to Carlax. We can send it, sell it later. <laughs> uh, Unless now, we want right. that prickly old... Royal orders. Can't uh, do it has been asked of you. Stop the interlopers. Take back what is mine. Else your punishment will be severe. By order of your queen. Well, bad news for them. They think. <laughs> Maybe this Ugh. corpse is reanimatable. No. Well, fine. I didn't want you to be part of my army anyway. Oh, disarmed. Okay. Oh, and they disarmed me, which meant that my freaking shadow thing died. Because I have to have that weapon equipped for the shadow. I didn't even realize that happened. The shadow curse will soon be forgotten, thanks to us. Alright. Would you like to do the honors of walking through this gate? To I'm Baldur's sure nothing bad will happen. This, this looks like a... We saw the cuts. <laughs> <laughs> An army did march through here. Do you think it was meant to be sarcastic? Like, oh, looks like an army marched through here. Because that's a real bard move. Uh, you are about to progress your adventure. Once you move on, you may not be able to return. Make sure to tie up any loose ends before advancing onwards. I'm not one to second guess my decisions. I'm a bard a and a rogue. The lands cleansed of the shadows. Catherick's oh. reign of living death is over. Your courage has been tested, and in this, at least, you have triumphed. We're a bunch of big damn heroes. Nature is healing. Very, very quickly. Place. 
on to fundamentally change the fabric of whatever next region we walk into. <laughs> for the better? For the worse? Yeah. We'll see. We'll change it. We're changing it. <laughs> whatever state it's in when we get there, it's not going to be that state when we leave. <laughs> I can tell you that much. You know, a lot changed over uh, this last part. We healed the Shadow Cursed Lands. Uh, you became mostly Mind Flayer. What? No. Uh, that won't be until the next section at the end of Act 2, start of Act 3. That's when I'll become more Mind Flayer. I mean, what? Isn't that where we're at right now? <laughs> no, no. First is a cutscene. You're telling me a bunch of weird jerks just foiled part of our plans. That's kind of the look he's got on his face. <laughs> like. Sergeant, if you are here, I presume Worm's Rock is secure. And preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord, but there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the flaming fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping. Yes, sir. No, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. Your plan is falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. Neither of us expected the prison bearers to kill Catherine. Someone kill that. We're we'll traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to peel you, to split your skin. Yes, yes, you're very edgy. See your skull mm -hmm. shine in the light, little tyrant. <sighs> I do like the like Lucky smoky you, texture across her skin as it changes. Yeah, I think that's the flesh in Rivington at high sun. They will sate my blade thirst tonight. Oh, but tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, my blades will thirst again. Hey. Calm down. Maybe uh, pick a new god to follow next time. <laughs> I hear uh, Saluna's pretty neat. I mean, everyone that we've seen that's a Saluna worshipper and has continued to be a Saluna worshipper seems to be pretty chill. Well, not really chill. No, the ASMR has zero chill, oh. but they're good people. Where are, where are we going with this? On an adventure. Uh, why am I why am I just watching you? Beyond the campsite, the city waits in uneasy silence, one sleep away. to Baldur's Gate is long. It's it's over there. <laughs> Look. Have to keep going. Look at it over there. But first we have to go through Rivington. Which oh. is a fun thing. Which is a, it is a silly thing. Go oh, second that let's not go there. It is a silly thing. <clears throat> I hear Neverwinter has been lovely this time of year. I hear it's never winter. I hear it's never or winter. Is it always or is it always winter? I can't remember. Ah. I mean, honestly, your summons, I think, have the best part of the game. 
Where are they at? On a dramatic cliff top overlooking the city with uh, three little romantic candles. And... Ah. Yes, yes they are. It seems like quite the place to have a uh, uh, romantic cutscene. No. Uh, so if you and Halson have a romantic cutscene over there in your Oh yeah, I should probably go talk to Halson. Uh, uh, be really weird. What's in here? Sake of romance. Well, actually, no. we should go to sleep. I can talk to Halson. Let's try talking to uh I don't know if it actually I guess it, it probably prompts with a uh, question mark to talk to Scratch and uh on the, the elder. Uh, and elder cub. What are you two how are you two doing hanging out in camp? There you are. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. Come closer. Feel my voice rattle your bones as I proclaim our victory. Moon Maiden Saluna, hear me. Catherick Thorn, traitor, apostle of Merkel, is dead at last. My literally mate, dating his most dog. High. Darling Isabel is safe and well. Safe and well and return to my embrace. Blessings upon the slayer of the wicked one. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. We are a powerful <laughs> party indeed. Faerun itself trembles at our touch. My darling Isabel says we will stay allied at your side. I am pleased to hear it. I didn't intend to spend I am free here. from my bonds, but not my duty. The dead three are risen. The dead two remain. You must face them. I will help. Carry on. Welcome to the team. I can't believe it. I can't believe Aelin is here. And my father. I heard what happened. What he become. By killing him, you set him free. You set Alien free. And me. Yep. I don't really feel like I need to pry into their personal business, so... <laughs> well, if you're ready, I'm ready for a super peaceful night's sleep. I'm sure it will be. Yeah, I've had too much action, personally. I hope nothing happens tonight. I just want to get some much-deserved shut-eye, no interrupt... Oh. What's this? The events of the last days weigh oh, heavily yeah. Just upon relax. me. Good. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. Not me, though. The I'm snoring into the other bedroll. But an elder brain controlled by the chosen of the dead three. They mean to use it to take control of the sword coast. All who carry the Light tentpole the are coast. governed by the brain mm -hmm. and by extension the chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of mind flayers. This would have been your you are fate too. slightly cross-eyed. Mm -hmm. Not for the dream visitor's Just what I'm protection. Thinking deeply. With her help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. And I'll talk about Will you liberate them together. from their parasites and their religious Probably. delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? Hmm. Oh. When the right moment agree. comes. I'll do what feels right. <laughs> All you need to do now. I want to keep it ambiguous so that you get nervous. But sleep is not for you. Hear me. Gather. The reckoning is upon us. The city thirsts for domination. March. Join. What? 
What's this? Huh. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> We're under attack. Help me. So, pay close attention to the right side of the screen. Uh, skip to the portal before the absolute takes control. All right. So we uh, don't really need to focus too much on fighting these guys, especially you, because you're fast as fuck. Well, <laughs> Huh. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> it's not over. Come to the skull. I like answer what's today teleport. I just, you know, you like the time. Is it just is it, orbs about to What the hell is that? I speak from some experience. <laughs> was Carlac talking on your screen? No, it was Gail talking on oh. my screen. On mine it, it cut is... to Carlac and it just hovered over her for an awkwardly long time. Yeah, it is it is focusing on Carlac because that's who interacted with the portal. Uh... that we have so many uh, intellect powers on our side. I'm sure they'll last. I should have raged before I uh, made that first attack. Well, our AC's uh, going up by one, especially if I like to stand over here. You know, what? Okay. It's Wait thinking. It. It's thinking. Wait for it. There we go. <laughs> Interesting decision making there. <laughs> that was not the move, buddy. That was not the move. Guess uh, plus one AC doesn't help uh, fireball, huh? Unfortunately, it would seem not. Sorry, did that say they needed a 17 to hit? They rolled a 30? Or did it say a 20? Uh, maybe it was a 20. Might I, was only, a 30. I, was, I was taking a drink. I only caught that out of the I didn't really pay attention, huh, to be honest with you. Uh, that was that good. I'm not using that shit either. Hold this in. Before we go charging so ahead, let me summon some some
were just breaking an army, or the Immortal. Uh, I should probably do this now. It's not over. Yeah. Come to the skull. I will take the time to cast Long Strider on everybody so we can just keep moving, because that will take forever. And I think it might actually finish the long rest after this next fight, so I'm just not going to waste the time. Oh no, I summoned the fucking shadow guy over here. He can't jump. <laughs> Watch our back, Shadow Man. <laughs> oh, right. Man. It's not over. Come to the skull. It's time to meet our dream visitor. There we go. Let's be on my way. Trip to Garlock's second. Uh, Are all the summons coming? Okay, here we Looks like a Mortal Kombat character. <laughs> oh. Oh, I was hoping I was hoping that would just be a good scene of uh, get, getting rocked. But, uh... <laughs> The best form to take would be Me. that of a half leg woman. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say every uh, every mind player's got a half leg woman buried somewhere deep inside. Uh, Just uh, no reason. <laughs> this is the battle you were the fighting. God. Eliminate them. My forces are weakened by their assault, but with your help, we can turn this around. Destroy the God. I will subdue their master. I Together, <laughs> we can turn the tide. Oh. Joe Gravity's pretty sweet. <laughs> Certainly makes jumping very good. <laughs> form of uh, transportation. spindly little legs. Oh, nice. That's he rolls once or twenty. <laughs> Put him, he's still up here, he's just in the initiative order. <laughs> oh, that's good. That is Dismiss good. summon as a bonus action? Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> I do not want to have to skip his turn every time.
Would you mind stepping slightly over to the right? Because I think I have enough movement to come up and thwack him if I'm standing exactly where you or that mine or that inlet of our are. Maybe. Or am I going to be just shy? Oh. It showed up for a second that I could. I think he's just out of my reach. Oh. Keeps like saying I can swing at first. That's weird. Um, I already used my bonus. <laughs> just, just spam click until it lets you swing. <laughs> I can summon that devil with the sweet flaming mission. Oh, yeah. I was like, what does this fancy sword do again? <laughs> right. Well, that was not right for me. Luckily, I can summon him and still make two off attacks. I guess, I mean, I am a full-on caster. I could just, like, use my really good spell, too. Wait a minute, I have powerful magics. <laughs> I'm very confused. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh no, these ones are cactus. <laughs> Get rocked. <laughs> Thanks, little buddy. <laughs> Welcome to the team, buddy. <laughs> Holy shit. It's gonna be a pretty wild he's, jump. He's strong. He's a strong boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he still can't quite make it up to him, though. Man can jump a country mile, but he can't walk <laughs> 40 feet. <laughs> Just drop this here and only hit enemies. Sure. And now we'll all I forget this makes a giant ice area. Now we'll all just fall as we try to move around. You're welcome. Uh, and now my buff son will also eat himself across the battlefield. And then dash into the ice fall. <laughs> it'll go around the edge. <laughs> Good thing I confused him just so he could die before he gets another turn anyway. Oh, uh, it, it looks like he'll probably get another turn. Oh, yeah, I guess you only have two attacks. We need to get full arm master for her so she can get uh, a bonus action not, attack. Was, I, I didn't want to dash, I wanted to push. Oh, well. Still dash where she's standing. Uh, oh, he was confused, so he just skipped his turn anyway. I thought that was a worthwhile use of confusion. Yep, you're right. <laughs> critical hit or critical miss. <laughs> Nothing in between. <laughs> this guy really does My confusion. Crazy, she... Yeah, we're gonna check on that. <laughs> no. I love, I love that she takes like a hundred points of damage <laughs> running through everybody just to have Gale casually counterspell her. <laughs> uh, um, it's just, uh... It's just, uh... It's just sad. Can I... Will it let me do that? Nice. 
Now the guy with the f flaming machine gun is uh, up there. <laughs> Still living. Oh well, he'll die from noxious fumes on his turn anyway. <laughs> Ow! That's gonna hurt. Oh, the cambion disappeared because they <laughs> used whole person on me. That's no, weird. that is weird. That's it. I'm getting me stick. Surprisingly gentle bonk on head for 18 damage. <laughs> Shove it. Eat his brain. Her brain. His. Her. It's. Their uh, brain. Oh wait, that's, don't swing it. He was gonna die anyways. That was a waste. Whatever. Ooh, I want to use Shocking Grass, but I think this is all water here, so it'll probably make a giant electric area. I guess I won't do that. Oh, they have one hit point and Noxious Fume. We're good. Hmm. Well, in that case... Ooh. I'm really gonna get hurt bad on my turn, more than likely. <laughs> Just 12. Ah. I did the maximum. Should have been 16. Well, it, uh... Maybe they have some resistance. Concentration, at the very least. Yeah. At least it did its thing there. Room for one more? <laughs> the crawling, no. Or is it more of a, the crawling... No. 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 Hello, Fred. Yep. yep. That's the way things go when uh, you've got the plague. <laughs> I have to go over there. There, lucky time. Let's hang out down here. They're probably going to teleport away anyway. Well, it didn't teleport away. No! <laughs> Kick him while he's down. <laughs> we gain control over the Gajanki Prince. <laughs> um. Well, that might do it. Don't be too judgmental, Karlak. I'm half mind player. I ask again, who no, are you? you? And I'm going player. to be needing a name. You may time. call me the Emperor. An 
adventurer. I came from Baldur's Gate, though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure. To a colony of Mind Flayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. Off a low tech, they just tied you to a chair. <laughs> At least we were in pods. Mm -hmm. For years, Jeez, I served the Elder Brain. The one you know as the Absolute. I was a thrall like any other, but I was fortunate. I broke free and started a new life in my old city. I sustained myself on criminals. Unglamorous, but there are plenty of them. You're the worst missed. Batman ever. And they fueled me when I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stillman. We formed a partnership, and through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield, the largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence. Though, of course, they had no I mean, it's not I that hard to tell. <laughs> my needs were sated. Look at it. I was happy for a while. Until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call me Emperor. The name was intended as a slight, to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Did you have to? <laughs> have to. Come on, spray. <laughs> Rather them than potential future allies like you. Snark aside. Can you tell me what this battle was about? We fought to tame Prince Orpheus, the son of Gith herself. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus' his mother to bring about the fall of the Elithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' mother left, the usurper took her place. Vlacheth declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Vlacheth wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my hold on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. Are we the baddies? No. No. Was it you or Orpheus that you wanted us to kill? A good question. Most certainly Orpheus. He is a threat to her reign. Some Githyanki still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Blacketh was safe as long as they believed him to be dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blacketh will be finished. Got it. Defeat Elderbrain, cure brain parasites. Free this guy. Free Orpheus so that uh, uh, he can take out Blacketh. Uh, A very good question. Pina One that I have been unable <laughs> to answer. That Orpheus lives at all is ruinous to Blacketh. She has done everything in her power to keep his existence a secret. And that Gortash and the Chosen found out about it. This is impossible to explain. But it 
it was important enough to them that Gortash sent me to retrieve it. The moment I found it, I felt it change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside. And found Orpheus. I realized what the prison was for. Containment. While my body was within the prison's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus and find allies in the outer world. You. <laughs> the moment he is free, he will attack you. Your only defense would be to kill him. And in so doing, he would doom us both. Even though he is subdued, he feel Orpheus's revulsion. A pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. You carry a tadpole. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already he a carries lizard. like twelve. A sworn <laughs> enemy. Just like me. I only ate like nine of them though. Saving the others for later. I'm uh, more talk to the rest of I appreciate that. But this is what I am. My original body was destroyed when I transformed. When I first escaped the Elder Brain. I searched for a new vessel, but the longer I inhabited this one, the more it grew on me. I realized that returning to my former self would only impose limitations. Any advantage I could gain by restoring my original appearance, I already had to hand in the form of magic and that humanoid shape you've come to know. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this change. Mm. Nah. Why do you say I believe we'll have a better chance <laughs> of defeating the Elder Brain if you embrace your latent lithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle while continuing to preserve your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength. The I don't know, I must have watched you miss attacks. Devastating uh. If you let me, I can evolve you. Well, I mean... What will that entail? You will be able to do things you never thought were possible. That's not There will what be I asked. physical alterations, of course. But only partial. You will retain most of your current form. And you will soon see that the benefits outweigh any perceived loss. Madison, you're gonna have an awful hard time uh, uh, getting the house in if you, you know, change that right. I mean, if you can evolve me, why can't you stop it all The answer is twofold. One, I can, but it would kill you, as I told you before. Two, oh, yeah. why would I? You have done well with the limited form you have, but you would do far better as an illithid. So, do you wish to evolve or not? I mean, while we're in the neighborhood... A fine mm. idea, or at least, an idea. You continue <laughs> to surprise me. Your mind is truly something I think special. I found my new love uh, interest. Now, I've all... I know, I know that is the thing at this uh. point. Uh... uh mm. <laughs> of all the uh, of all the ideas in this world, uh, uh, Gail agrees this is one of them. <laughs> it wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. Oh. <laughs> Eat it! Eat it! <laughs> Eat it! What are you? <laughs> Rather than 
consuming it. Oh, uh, thanks. Thank you. Advantage of its power as well. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for <laughs> thanks for diving on that bullet, buddy. <laughs> no problem, uh, fellow. I, it's, it's, there's something about <laughs> about you choosing to eat it after the black player going. What are you? Different. Your body has never been, felt more connected. It would have been much Your funnier if it didn't work. <laughs> A joint or muscle. <laughs> oh man. You are exquisite. But we mustn't lose. Shut up, baby, I don't know it. We need to resume our journey. You heard the chosen. The brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the brain and bring it under our control. Oh, I'm still up here on this rock. <laughs> Come on, got it. Holy shit. Well, uh, I believe this has unlocked the outer ring. It sure has. Sorry, if I this episode, sorry. Do start one. That's not very good. Ah! Oh, that's really good. Another piece of the, uh, uninhibited Shigo set. Which up. I mean, I'll send them to Carlac so she can carry them until we can sell them, but they're uh, certainly not like great. At least for my build. I'm not seeing the Maybe later. Don't mind me, well, I'm just uh, demolishing my brain. Uh, one moment. Well, uh, you may be happy to know that Carlac's opinion of you is still medium. <laughs> Good. Which makes it one of us. Why did this dead Yankee oh, yeah. with a magnificent beard just have a whole bunch of potions and poisons in his pockets? <laughs> These are monks. <laughs> wow. Uh, I, I, I'm going to assume they did. Uh, um, they designed some of these dead Yankee Yankees as a joke just to see if anybody would notice their uh, character portraits. When you're done um, feeding your brain to. Uh, Brain parasites. You should come up here and click on this guy just to see his character portrait. Oh, where'd my bar go? If this guy, uh, this guy was, uh, an exiled Githyanki prince's, uh, honor guard, um, uh, got awful loose cosmetic standards. How do I get that bar back? Whoops. Ah. We'll figure it out later. I can just toggle between them for the time being. At any rate, uh, what are you doing? What now? Come, on, come, come up here and look at this guy's uh, character portrait. I'm starting to think the devs designed some of these dead NPCs. Uh, I'm over. Uh, I'm not. You can just walk to me. You, oh. Or you can jump. You can jump most of the way. Oh, uh, you're over here. What path lies before me? Um, I'm starting to think they designed some of these guys to say, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That guy's awesome. Uh, I've got some pretty, uh, I've got some pretty loose uh, hair and beard standards uh, on the Gideonki Honor Guard, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy looks like a crazy prospector. Yeah, that dude with the beard. Uh, he, he was the one that knew that a pocket full of poisons and oils, <laughs> potions. Anyway, I'm Tucker. Anyway, let's back, go back to the material plane, shall we? Yes. Are you sure you want to leave the astral plane? <laughs> well, 
Is the rest of the game in the astral plane game? <laughs> and these guys just died. <laughs> well, I, I assume it was our the small army of, of companions party. left behind. <laughs> like, we teleport past them through the porthole and just like, Elson and Will walk up here and just <laughs> deal with this problem. Probably mostly Will, because we haven't really leveled up anybody else. Well, I guess Halston probably starts at like level 6 or something like that. Yeah. The, the um, like, group content sigh that plays there is, uh, um, uh, there's something funny. Um, Blazel wants to chat. Oh, it's about Orpheus. You want to talk to her? I mean, not really. <laughs> I can. I mean, this is... Want. Where she's, this is like her redemption arc, in a lot of ways. This is where you're like, oh, maybe Lazelle isn't the worst if she has a good reason to not be. Like All right, Lazelle. What say you? Your parasite communes with Lazelle's. Her heart races as she learns of the events inside the astral prison. Orpheus, Gith's only son. It is not the Gaith visitor that Vlakith would destroy. It is Orpheus, the traitor prince, the Laxerai. He sought Vlakith's head in a Gaith ploy for her throne. Mm -hmm. Listen close. The Empress spoke only in half truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, oh, you great. must know the <laughs> and of Vlakith. Uh, Long ago, I, I, when we rose up against our gay slavers, Mother Gith made for the hells to secure an alliance with the archdevil Tiamat. Oh, what a wonderful player. red dragons. Gith remained in the I mean, that is a pretty sweet gift. Envoy proclaimed it's true, Vlakith yeah. our ruler. The first Vlakith of many. It is Vlakith 157 whom my people now call queen. 157? That's a lot of lackets. <laughs> yes. Our current queen has claimed undeath and reigned for a thousand years. But it was the first whom Orpheus tried to slay. Orpheus was, is, Gith's renegade spawn. A gay thrall who would return us to our slavers. He convinced his own mother's honor guard to join a coup against Vlakith One. He would have fed our empire to the Illithids had he succeeded. Oh, so you're, it so was you're Kithrak brainwashed. Voss himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle. Or so the Varshas teach us. Yet the traitor's with us, controlled by that repugnant Illithid. Should Orpheus go free, he would hand Vlakith's dominion to his Geich masters. The astral plane would be first to fall. The others would soon follow. Uh, were killed and was imprisoned. Do you trust your teachings? Entirely. <laughs> Vlakith cast Sivim Krath Krashet. Only in Vlakith may we find light. This Say is the creed. Vlakith. I will not abandon all 10,000 protocols over one sovereign secret. This is exactly how you do things. Uh, oh, this is the problem is we didn't ever go into that portal. So it changes, because if you go into the portal find a way to and enter the leave, prison they still attack you. Slay Orpheus. He is a geek puppet cloaked in Githyanki skin, and the most powerful mind master known to my people. One word from his scheming lips and the people would doubt. Two words and they would rage. Three words and they would bow to the false prince. The Githyanki would be slaves once more. And one by one, the planes would fall to the gate. The spirits of the fallen be my witness. I will find the means of reaching the prince through his domed prison. And when I return to the astral prism, I will slay him in the name of the undying Queen Vlakith. You do realize the portal's just like up the hill there, right? You could go try. Well, alright then. <laughs> You're Fair crazy. enough. Yeah, normally if you get like snuck attack by her later, 
or the, by the mm. if you go into the portal thing, then like the you think he turn on you anyways and attack you, even if you go in and like kill the uh, your shot your mind visitor, whatever it's called, dream visitor. Uh, and then she's like, "They betrayed me. I am doubting my crazy teachings." But it would seem that she did not doubt them this time. At any rate, that's where we should probably call this episode closed. We've been recording for a while. And uh, next time we truly now will start Act 3. With all of us the same as we've been up until now. And not different in any... I mean, we were, we were all standing right there. It's... It's not like... Wow, uh, why did it suddenly get briefly dark? Uh, that was weird. Um... Oh, Withers, no reason. Why you, Withers, why are you down here <laughs> staring at a wall? You mean dark like was it this? Like 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 the world grew briefly shadowed. Interesting, interesting. Well, I'll have some new things to show you next time on our two-player Baldur's Gate 3 campaign. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Withers, what's so interesting about this wall? <laughs> Bye!